Hello, pals, and welcome to May. So happy to see you. We're going to go ahead and sing our good morning song, and I'm going to throw in some rhyming words. So listen for the rhyming words. Here we go. going to read you a story called Is Your Mama a Llama? Have you ever heard this story before? It's really, really cute. And instead of Miss Andrea reading the words, I'm actually going to play a CD that has the words and the music on it. It's just something different. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, while I'm reading this story, can you listen for the rhyming words, the words that sound the same? These words will also help you solve some very important, um, or they'll give you some very important clues and help you find the answers to what they're asking you. So it, it just takes a lot of really good listening. All right, here we go. I think you're gonna love it. Is Your Mama a Llama? By Deborah Gorino, illustrated by Stephen Kellogg. When you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a bat. Did you guess that? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a... Swan! Did you guess swan? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that is what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama 
Karma must be a... Can you guess it? Cow. Yes. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Did you guess seal? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a kangaroo. Mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh boy, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur. And you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas. Because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a... Mama! And this is... The end. Did you like that story? Were you able to guess some of the animals before I turned the page? Did you listen to the clues and try to solve the mysteries? All right, I'm gonna go through the book right now and I just wanna point out the words that rhyme. You're gonna to need to know rhyming words when you start kindergarten someday. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, the word when she said, you're right about that, it must be a bat. That and bat. Can you say that, bat? Good. You don't need to go on. Your mama must be a swan. On, swan. Can you say on, swan? Good. I understand now. Your mama must be a cow. Can you say now, cow? Now, cow. I'm beginning to feel your mama must be a seal. Feel, seal. Feel, seal. Good. That certainly is true. Your mama must be a kangaroo. True kangaroo. Can you say that? True kangaroo. You got it. And then at the very end, we have our llamas. Mamas and llamas rhyme, right? Mama, llama. Is your mama a llama? I don't think your mom is a llama. My mom is not a llama. That's silly. All right. So let's talk about what we're going to be doing today at home. All of our fun work. All right. Since it's almost Mother's Day, you're going to be working on some more Mother's Day projects. So if your mama is in the room, can you have her plug her ears for a minute and maybe close her eyes? I want to tell you about a surprise. Close your eyes for the surprise. That rhymes. Okay. 
inside your bag, there's a piece of material and a white ribbon and some good smelling stuff. It's called potpourri. You're gonna put potpourri inside your fabric and you're gonna seal it up with your ribbon, okay? And the good smelling potpourri is inside. You're gonna wrap it up like that. Mommy won't be unwrapping this for Mother's Day. She can actually put the whole thing in her closet or in one of her clothes drawers, in one of her cabinets, and it will make everything smell wonderful. The smell comes through the fabric and it'll make all of Mommy's clothes smell great. That's a really nice thing to give Mommy for Mother's Day, something pretty that smells so great. Okay, so you're gonna make that. And then you also have a frame inside your bag. It's a frame made out of wood, okay? Now, do you remember when Mommy took a picture of you? I am gonna get those pictures to you so you can put your picture inside your frame. But before we put your picture inside your frame, let's decorate it. So you have another bag that has some really good smelling stuff in it, but it's very colorful. It's like colorful flowers and colorful twigs and colorful leaves. And I want you to decorate your frame with all of that colorful stuff that's inside the bag. Make sure you use lots of glue on your frame. Mm -hmm. All those things need lots of glue to stick. And when they're all dry on your frame, then I'll get that picture to you so you can put your picture inside. Okay, that's another Mother's Day present. And then one more thing. You got a real flower today. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take that real flower that's in dirt and you're gonna put it in the beautiful flower pot that you painted for your mommy. And then when it's all done, you can give that to her for Mother's Day. Okay? So you have three things to work on today. Your good smelling potpourri sachet, your frame, and what else? Your flower pot. Okay, so you have a lot to work on for mommy because everything we do this week is gonna be for our mommies because we love our mommies so very much. You're also going to do a seesaw activity. It says Mother's Day Acts of Kindness. So this activity on seesaw is going to help you think of ways that you can help mommy around the house. It'll give you some ideas and that's good because mommy can always use your help around the house. She can use your strong muscles. She can use your scrubbing hands, right? She can even, you can even help her remember things, right? She needs you from head to toe everything about you, you can help your mommy with, but make sure you help your mommy a lot this week because this is your mommy's special Mother's Day week, okay? And that is what you're gonna be working on. I would love to see what you do. You can always take pictures for Miss Andrea and show me all the wonderful things that you're doing at your house. It makes me so happy to see all of your hard work and all of your beautiful work. All right. So on this wonderful new month of May, I hope you have a great day. May, day, another rhyme, other rhyming words. And maybe you can think of other rhyming words around your house today. It's fun, fun to find rhyming words. And until we meet again, one, two, three, pals, hooray! Have a wonderful, wonderful day, my friends.